competitive final in the Amateur Classic Challenge at the 2017 Summer Spectacular. It was a tie for first place and I'm with one of the winners, Bella Anderson, who rode the real McCoy and marked a 218. Congratulations to you, Bella. Thank you. Tell us, how does it feel to be a major champion? It feels like it's not even true still. <laughs> Have you made a final before in the Will Rogers? I have made a few finals, but I've never done this good at all. Okay. So what was it about this, this final that really had you firing? Well, I knew my cows very well. I had a lot of confidence in the horse I was riding, and I went and I showed to the best of our abilities and was going to let it, the judges decide. Okay. Can you remember much of your run and the cows that you chose? Yes, so I went in the first, the first cow I cut, it was a little brown cow, and we went to cut it, and I was like a little nervous about it at first, but then I relaxed and I, just, and I cut it and it went up and it did good for the horse to get a good run started. And then my second cow was in a kind of difficult spot, but we ended up getting it up and good. The horse was... Very, knew which cow we were cutting and he was doing good so we got that one cut and then the last cow two of them kind of got together for a little bit and uh, we got them ended up getting them cut and they were really good and then my hat fell off and I was like horse please don't have a dual ray moment you can freak out at my hat so <laughs> that's about what I was thinking <laughs> well your horse obviously dealt with the situation yes he did Okay, now it was a big final, 34 uh, people in the final and you were deep in the first set, 17 in that, lots of cows to work through, how did you manage that? Well, I actually wasn't that worried because these cows, they were a little bit pushy at first and they settled in there, actually towards when we got later. We had a lot of cows still, my help did a good job at putting me on the cows and we got it cut clean, so... Did you have a plan coming out because um, your co-winner had already marked a 218, uh, Jennifer Payton, and, um, sorry, Rector, your um, co-winner, Jennifer Rector, had already marked a 218. What was your plan? My plan was to go and show to the best of my ability. I, ha I had a lot of confidence that that horse could go mark a big score. He had made the open finals before this, so I was just really excited to get to show the horse. How much have you shown the horse in the past? This is my first time to get to show him. Well, that's pretty awesome. Yes. yes, it was. I was very excited to get to show him. You might be showing this horse a little more in the future? Maybe. Depends on how everything still works. I hope so, for sure, though. Okay. So what's your plans now? Are you in the youth? I did not make the finals. I had some tough luck, and then I, I was kind of disappointed about how I did then, and then we came back, and I had the Rail McCoy and the go around the same day and I just wanted to go have a clean run I felt comfortable on him and we went and had a 215 and a half that made it so I was upset about the youth but it I didn't really care after I had a good run on the McCoy <laughs> yeah it's satisfying when you have a good run it just um, helps that helps out um, you're 13 how long have you been cutting I've been showing aged event horses since I was nine and then I don't know I don't remember how long I've actually been cutting Probably since I was seven or eight. What do you love about it? Everything. <laughs> um, my favorite thing probably is I get to do it with my family and I love the horses so much. So that's probably my favorite thing about it. Okay. And you said that you helped choose the cows. You sat there and watched them and, and decided on a plan? Yes, I help watch them. Well, kind of. I let them show them to me and I memorize them. <laughs> Well, it's a start. Uh, it sounds like you're going to be a really great competitor as the years go on. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you.